I have the privilege of working with the world's largest enterprises on agentic AI development and uh, deployment. And while this is a very exciting topic and um, global leaders, we fre frequently mention about uh, thousands and thousands of agentic use cases that are being deployed in their organizations. But um, in most of the cases, um, they are really struggling to scale it. And, and POC, uh, even the best agentic POC, is not something that is going to make uh, any difference in the business. It's only something that is really working and being deployed. So we are also looking at what are the biggest mistakes that uh, the largest enterprises make when they embark in that journey of agentic AI de deployment. And uh, starting from today, I will run a weekly um, a series on what do we see as the biggest mistakes and also how do, co how do, you, how do you deal with them. Uh, the number one that I would like to start uh, from is, and, and this is very much influenced by the media and the image, image that the media creates, is that agents are going to replace people who will no longer need employees, uh, physical employees in the future. Everything will be done by agents. And that is very easy to imagine and visualize. You, you just imagine a, call, a large call center uh, full of people responding to the phone calls or um, a large procurement department when people are dealing with the contracts and you are saying, hey, one day all of that can be done by agents. Um, uh, however, that doesn't really work, especially in the large enterprises and for two main reasons. Number one is that um, any enterprise it has a complex web of policies, procedures, delegation authorities, and all of them have human at the center. So that means if you try to infuse the agent, even the best performing agent in the world, in the organization without regard of the approval process and the human participation at the approval process, that agent will be uh, crashing down and burning and not really delivering any value and not going to be part of the process. The organizational immune system is going to resist and not going to allow that agent to function. The second important reason is that People, the moment they hear about the replacement, about the workforce reduction, um, you have immediate resistance. And what is also interesting to note, this is not only from the line employees. We see also leaders that are overseeing hundreds and thousands of people, large teams, they're becoming very hesitant when they hear suddenly that instead of 2,000 people, one day they may be working only with 20 or 50. They're becoming hesitant because in the uh, corporate world, still the role and the title very frequently associates also with the size of the perimeter. In other words, how big is my team? And, 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 and from that perspective, you get immediate resistance and uh, change management becomes almost impossible in, in that environment. Uh, therefore, in Orbitron AI, when we um, develop and deploy our products, we first of all focus on the bottom line impact from productivity. Agents are not to replace people. You still need to have human at the center. And the focus is, how do you increase the productivity and how agents become the force multipliers. They augment uh, the, uh, the real teams on the ground and also they increase their performance, they increase their output and they make them not only more effective, not only more efficient, but also more effective. And this is the way for agentic AI to be accepted in the large uh, enterprises.